a 23 year old man who was released on bond for allegedly torture and sexual assaulting his girlfriend stand accused of killing her his stepfather and mother hi i'm lady t and welcome back to my channel <music> How do you commit a crime like sexual assault and, and torture and, and they let you out with $10,000? Quazon Frazier asking the key question of 36th District Court Magistrate Don White on behalf of his murdered sister, 22-year-old Zalea Frazier. Why did White give Frazier's boyfriend, 23-year-old Jonathan Welsh, a $10,000 bond and a tether after a horrific domestic violence attack against Frazier June 6th? At Welsh's arraignment on the murder charges, Harper Woods police called the bond given to Welsh an opportunity to kill. Uh, he was given a chance with bond at that time and took his freedom as an opportunity to finish the job and kill victim Frazier. You know, 10,000 is easy to come up with. It's people that, 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 that steal something from a store that would get more than 10,000. You tortured somebody, you sexual assaulted somebody and you got out with paying $10,000. On June the 2nd, shortly before 7.30 a.m., Detroit police officers responded to the home in the 13,000 block of Kilbourne Avenue to report of a domestic assault. Jonathan Welch allegedly woke up his 22-year-old living girlfriend by sexually assaulting her at 3 a.m. He reportedly ordered her to provide him with a cell phone password and then strangle her with an extension cord when she refused. Then he allegedly poured gasoline on his girlfriend's body burned her arms and legs with a metal spatula and attempted to sexually assault her with a large pole. He also beat her with a belt and threatened her with a drill. His girlfriend, later identified as Zelia Frazier, was allegedly able to escape the home and run to a neighbor's house and call 911. Welsh reportedly followed her and kicked the neighbor's door down. Welsh left the location before officers arrived at the scene. He was reportedly found and arrested at about 11.24 a.m. that day. On June the 12th, Welch was reportedly arraigned and received a $100,000 bond. He was ordered not to contact Frazier. On Friday, July the 8th, Welch was bonded out of Waynes County Jail through a Bell's bond his mother was able to attain. Two days after Welch's release, on Sunday, July the 10th, Harperwood police officer reportedly responded to a home to a report of someone being held inside. At the scene, Welch allegedly barricaded himself inside the home and his mother, Flossie Bray, who was 42 years old, who had reportedly stabbed several times in the back with a butcher knife, was able to escape. Welch's mother was reportedly transported to the hospital with several injuries, but died on July the 16th. A neighbor told authorities that they witnessed Welch drop the baby out the window. During the standoff, shots was reportedly fired inside the home towards the officers. In addition, the house was allegedly set on fire. Welch eventually surrendered and was taken into custody after seven hours. Inside the home, authorities reportedly discovered the bodies of Frazier and Welch's stepfather. Investigators believe that Welch killed his girlfriend less than three days after his release from jail. Welch was booked into Waynes County and now is facing the following charges. Three counts of first degree murder, three counts of assault with intent to murder, one count of second degree arson, seven counts of felonious assault, and six counts of felon firearm. He tortured that young lady. Why the hell would a judge allow that evil monster to get bail? Why the hell the mama bailed out her little spawn of Satan after doing such a horrendous crime? There is no way he should have gotten bail. That judge had blood on her hands and should be removed from her bench. This case made me so angry and sad. He should have never been given bail when he had tortured that young lady. The justice system cares so little about black women, they set his bail within reach. If they would have remanded him in jail, they could have prevent the deaths of three people. There is a serious and disturbing problem in this country that's only becoming worse in regards to violent crimes and letting these violent criminals off the hook only for them to offend again. Our justice system is a joke. My condolences out to the families, 
my heart do go out to uh, the victim's son and may the victims rest in peace all right guys that's it hope you enjoyed the video let's continue the conversation down below in the comments make sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload i'm lady t i'll catch you the next time be blessed bye